action. The one, the only. In the life box with Steve Stanulus. 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 I got a really, really good dear friend of mine. I've done, I think, like six films with him, and we're working on a new film called Act Naturally. And we got John Gallagher and his amazing cast. John, I'd like to introduce <laughs> the beautiful ladies we have on my couch. Stevie, uh, <laughs> good to see you. Congratulations on the show. Thank you for coming. Uh, yes, our picture is Act Naturally. It's a feature comedy. Yes. <laughs> about uh, two young actresses uh, trying to make it in the dog eat dog business of show business. Now, who are the actresses? Uh, well, no, actually, I, 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 I know. one what is me and one is me. <laughs> Samantha Scafidi yes. and Mia Pinchoff, uh, we all met in my acting classes at One on One, mm -hmm. uh, which is, is wonderful for me. It, it, it beats you know, a 10 minute audition. We actually got to, to do some work and uh, I, I thought that they'd be ideal in this particular uh, project because I, even though they had not met yet, I knew they would have a chemistry. Right. And now we're in love. I know. <laughs> really? And you're in the movie. I am. I I, I, that's why. Well, yeah. We got to talk. You play that's the it. manager. I get signed with. I do play the manager. You get signed with. I play Steve, <laughs> Steve Savage, which is a name I cannot get away from. But yes, <laughs> I play like this, uh, like steroid, muscle head Could manager. Be, uh, lower end uh, <laughs> manager. Right, lower manager. Yeah. Yeah. Well, we know a couple of those people. Don't we? Yeah, I think so. So, but but what is this? Just tell everybody what the synopsis of the film is before we get into it. You know, it's basically uh, an opportunity to, you know, truthfully show, you know, what an actor uh, goes through trying to, you know, get, you know, get ahead in this business. And I'm talking about actors that that know from when the time they were kids, little girls, uh, that that they, that's what they must be. In fact, we have two wonderful. Uh, young, uh, very young uh, actresses, uh, Lola Friedenstein and Eden Wright, playing the young Samantha and young Mia, and uh, and we see them through the conservatory years, uh, being roommates in New York City for the first time, and and the, the various divergent paths that they take, uh, which sets up uh, you know, for a lot of comedy, a lot of some sometimes brutal comedy, right. and uh, some you know some laughs, some heartbreak, and the opportunity for. You know, for, for, for the girls, I mean, Samantha and me and I wrote it together. So it was wonderful to no, have the, no, their no. experiences in there and then my experiences like in, in, in the business um, being able to kind of like, you know, voice what kind of really goes on. Well, not to interrupt there yeah. because, you know, writing is tough enough, mm. right? How is it to have three people collaborating <laughs> on one script? I mean, there's got to be, first of all, creative differences. Uh, well, we well, yeah, 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 yeah. we're like so the same. Really? Yeah. So like you guys <laughs> worked in harmony. There was never we any type of. Absolutely did. I, don't I mean, think you ever had a, a right? no. So that one day you hit me on it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, but I think that really, uh, you know, the fact that we're kind of all on the same page, you know, the way we we our process was mm -hmm. to go from a page and they have outline, right, mm -hmm. and then just like talk about the different, you know, develop characters. Uh, uh, and, and being able to develop characters with the actors right. and do it together, uh, we actually made it easier. It's a it's a wonderful way to way to work. Yeah. You know, it's really amazing. been cool. Mm -hmm. You know, it's not just similar to the way you and I have worked on some of our uh, past films. Yes. Well, we'll, we'll get into that too. But, <laughs> John, I mean, I, I'd like to not to go back because I, mean, mm -hmm. I really want to stay in the present. But, sure. um, I know John for about 10, 11 years, and uh, I mean, you have an uncanny ability of of finding talent that becomes you know, household names. Just if you could name a couple of the people that you've started out off with, like the deli. Just if you could just tell. Well, I mean, the deli, for example, was uh, gosh, we we had uh, Gretchen Moll in one of her first starring roles, and and uh, had the Matarazzo. I mean, going back to Street Hunter, an action picture I directed, was John Leguizamo's first starring role. Uh, Amanda Peet. Uh, Amanda Peet's uh, first uh, picture was was Animal Room uh, that, that I exec produced. Um, Zach Braff. One of his, uh, you know, first films before he went on to Scrubs, right. et cetera, et cetera, and that, you know, that's uh, thank goodness that I, now, I now have this I, alleged eye for talent because otherwise I'd be, I should be flipping pizzas by now, right? <laughs> right, right, well, well, right. Well, I mean, again, and you, then Mia Pinchoff, Samantha. Well, that's that's, yeah. well, that's the next, that's the next. <laughs> yeah, that's right. That's the next, the next wave. But do you, do you attribute that to luck, or you just think you have an eye? No, for I think that that that's very, very clear. Look, someone like you know, Leguizamo or. 
you know, or Samantha and Mia, you know, you, you, you know. I, I mean, if you, you know. Uh, but you know, if someone, you know, has this guy, you know, the talent is just there, you see it, but they can also take direction, that is key. Right. Um, they can also, you know, act for film, which is a whole other animal, as you well know. Yeah, yes. Um, <laughs> yes, and, right. and, and it has, you know, it has the, the drive and the ambition and the professionalism, forget about me, I'll do anything. I mean, that, that's, that's what you really see with, with every one of these actors we've mentioned. Now, you mentioned like Heather Matarazzo, yeah. uh, Gretchen Moll, uh, Amanda Peet. Do they fit, Mia, Samantha, do they, fit, do they remind you, or are they their own new person? I, I, I think that, um, you know, in terms of... Uh, <laughs> uh, could you repeat the question? No. I, I think it's really the profile. I think every actor of talent, of ability, you know, starting out, uh, it's helpful for them to kind of like look at it at the path of an actor they admire. Right. And I know that in Mia's case, uh, you know some of, some of the comedic uh, ability that's there is just is fantastic. Um, I know with Samantha, you know, you know, is, is a huge like all of us John Cassavetes, Jenna Rollins fans. Uh -huh. When you have yeah. that in front of you, yeah, well, you almost a bit of a John giant line. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah no, a little bit, a little bit, a little bit. Uh, you know, <laughs> so that that that's what is in common, right. as I would say. Now, Mia, what is it like working with John? With him? Yes. This guy? Yeah. Like, the what truth is or the truth? Well, be, I mean, we'll, you know, let's just say it out there. Let's put it out there. Like, maybe the best thing ever. Wow. <laughs> wow. Um, Can you say that like you really mean it, please? And what, like, what about, maybe the best thing ever. <laughs> so we, we, need, we need conflict on this show. Let our own know. We can't, we can't be hard. What about Samantha? Do you have any? What, uh, what's it like being with John? Terrible. Mm -hmm. Okay, now I'm nervous. No, um, it's only 70,000 people watching, so don't be nervous. No pressure, right? Okay. No pressure. Um, don't, don't fuck up. I know, oh God. What's amazing about him, <laughs> what's amazing about him is being a young artist, it's kind of, he kind of creates an environment that helps you grow and gives you an environment where you can take risks and not be worried of failing. And it just, I think I'm blessed as maybe are you uh, that to have Bless someone like well. that to have that mentor to have that person. where's the bouquets <laughs> oh, yeah. that is the truth but, but yeah no it's yeah I mean but I had never I had never written anything until I met I wrote like a lot of uh, sketch comedy right right but I'd never written a feature and we also wrote another feature together after we first met called 22 um, and then we wrote all three of us act naturally but yeah mm -hmm. I'd never written and just putting it all out there and he fixed everything. We'd write, he'd fix right. it. Yeah, <laughs> no, I naturally, I, I mean, it's supposed to start shooting when? We start, uh, was it March 14th? 14th. 14th. March 14th, yeah. and it has Frank Vincent? We have Frank Vincent, Billy Bats from Goodfellas. <laughs> uh, Gomez, That's funny, Everybody, you know what's funny about Frank Vincent? Yeah. And I, I, you know, I've met him a couple times, even sure. through you, and uh, no, I, you say Frank Vincent, everybody's like, who? And then all of a sudden, everybody, as soon as people see Frank Vincent, like, oh my God, of course, Frank Vincent. I mean, go get your shine box. You get your I mean, shine box. <laughs> and we, he's a great actor. Uh, and, you know, we've done, this is, will be our sixth or seventh thing together. Right. Uh, Joey D'Onofrio. Joey D'Onofrio. Who actually actor, just was in my film as well. Who's in Long Shot Louie. As was Mia. Along with Mia. There's a lot of ties and, here. And uh, Brian Kelly from The Deli. Who was in Long Shot Louie. Uh, <laughs> you know, <laughs> Mike, uh, Mike Star. Little yes. Little yes. Uh, it's like Mike, a creepy, hey, where, creepy where, thing. Where are you finding these actors? I know. Mike Starr, who's wonderful. From Dumb and Dumber. Dumb and Dumber, the way he plays Uncle Boo, me as Uncle Boo Boo, mm -hmm. uh, you know, the kooky, goofy uncle who right. kind of, you know, uh, encourages her childhood uh, aspirations. Right. Uh, Victor Caliccio, you know, Victor writer Sam. A lot of, uh, you know, a lot of, you know, my wonderful actors I've worked with before. Right. And, uh, and hey, very, you're in the film. And uh -huh. I'm in the film, actually. I'm in a lot of the film, but yeah. I'm not in the film. I got you. I'm, I'm the, we, the story it. is uh, a kind of a, a faux documentary style where, where I'm off camera interviewing oh, okay. uh, uh, the girls, and then we flash to <laughs> right. the various uh, crazy scenes. Cool. Mm -hmm. All based in reality and truth. Awesome. Awesome. So truth. let everybody just out there, each one of you, just let everybody know how we can find you and how we can look you up and how they can find Act Naturally. Sure. Uh, our website is uh, www.actnaturallythemovie.com. I'm also at www.jgmovie.com. Uh, if you're looking for the domain name, ozzywithtits.com. <laughs> yep. We know that Madam Mayhem has that, right? It's Madam Mayhem has that, so it's, it's not, you can't use that one. Oh. There you go, there you go. Or, we'll, we'll leave the drums out too. We'll leave that one out too. I was looking for something original. But, uh, no, but, and uh, how about you guys? 
Um, I, I mean, personally, do you want to let everybody know your, well, I, your I am, Twitter, Facebook, what have you? I, I have Facebook, but okay. um, I also on IMDb. Ditto IMDb <laughs> and MiaPinchoff.com. Well, great. Well, awesome. it's great to see you guys. You too, buddy. Thank you so much for coming on. We'll see you soon on set. I'll see you on set. Yeah, <laughs> Steve Savage. Yeah, hey, Steve Savage. Yeah. Forget about it. He's going to shave your chest. Oh, yes. Yeah. You guys hang out at the end of the show? Absolutely. Mm -hmm. We'll be back in two minutes and two seconds. We're in the life with Steve Stylus. Action. The one, the only. In the life of with Steve Stylus.